Hello and welcome to part two of our discussion on Bronson Lowry bases. And we are just discussing uh, which molecule is more basic of the two shown of the two shown here. So let's get right to it. What can we see about the two molecules? Well, they both have a negative formal charge on the oxygen, but this molecule has a positive formal charge on a nitrogen. And if we add those formal charges up over here, this molecule as a whole is neutral. So, and this molecule over here has an anion oxygen, so I'll just write anion. And anytime we have an anion compared to a neutral molecule, this molecule is more basic. It really wants a proton to stabilize it, as opposed to this molecule has a negative and a positive, making it neutral, which makes it le a little bit less basic than this uh, molecule over here. So let's look at the second example. So once again, we have negative formal charges, but it's on different atoms this time. This time it's on oxygen, and this time it's on a nitrogen. Well, which atom is more electronegative? The oxygen. So oxygen likes to have electrons around it. It likes to be more electron dense than nitrogen. So this would be less stable and be more basic, more basic. So why is this one more basic? Because the nitrogen has a negative formal charge while the oxygen has a negative formal charge over here. Less electronegative makes this more basic when it has the negative formal charge on it. So let's look at another example. Okay, this one we have a negative formal charge compared to a neutral molecule. So immediately this one's really easy. This is more basic because we have a charge, an anion, while this one's neutral. So anions are more basic. Let's look at this one, okay? Where is this negative formal charge? Well, it's not really shown here, but we should know there's a carbon right here. And it's a, it's a methyl group, but that's not really important. The negative formal charge is on the carbon. Actually, I lied, it's not a methyl group. The reason why it's not a methyl group is because if we had a methyl group, that carbon would actually not have a formal charge. Really, we, what we have here is we have a charge because we have a hydrogen, a hydrogen, and a lone pair. If I can draw it, there we go. Because one, two, three, four, five, four minus five is negative one. So that's what it looks like over here. So we have a carbon with a negative formal charge opposed to an oxygen with a negative formal charge. Which atom is more electronegative? Oxygen is, so it's, it's rather have that negative formal charge. So this is more basic. It really wants to be a methyl group. It really wants that extra proton to be another H while this oxygen is more stable compared to this molecule over here. So this one's more basic. Is there any more examples? Yes, there is. Let's go over here first. Okay, so we have a nitrogen that has a lone pair right here. And we have another nitrogen that has a lone pair here. But what we can see here is, okay, let me, there we go. What we can see here is we can make resonance. This this uh, lone pair could go in here, make a bond right here. We could break this bond and put a lone pair right here, and that would give that uh, carbon a negative formal charge. So what does resonance do? Resonance stabilizes. So this molecule would be more basic. And actually, a better explanation for this would be this nitrogen has sp2 while this nitrogen has sp3 acidity increases when we have more s characters such as sp2 and sp those are more acidic but basicity decreases as s increases <laughs> so let me write this down so this so it's actually comprehensible. SP3, SP2, SP. Okay, so acidity increases. So acidity 
increases with increasing S character, but basicity decreases, or basicity increases with decreasing S character. So, right. So that's basicity. I'm gonna see if I can move this so we can see this better. Okay, there we go. So what we see here is this is SP3 and that is more basic than SP2. So that would actually be a better explanation to why this molecule is more basic than this molecule. Let's look over here. Okay, both of these molecules are neutral. There's no resonance, there's no induction. What's left? Atom size. So which atom is bigger, nitrogen or phosphorus? Phosphorus, look at the periodic table. Phosphorus is lower in group number. So it has a bigger atomic radius, those trends we learned in general chemistry. But uh, let's just draw like this. We have a phosphorus and we have a nitrogen, which is smaller. Since this nitrogen is smaller, we can't spread its electrons around it. So see how we have very little room for this. I can't even draw, there we go. This uh, lone pair and this phosphorus has a lot more room to spread out that lone pair. This is has less surface area. This is more surface area, making it more stable. So since phosphorus is more stable like this, this is more basic. Let's look down here. Okay, we have, actually, I'm gonna cut us off for this video because this is getting kind of long and I'll do these examples in part three and that'll be a quicker video. So, hope this video helped. I will be posting part three here in a couple, uh, couple hours or minutes, I don't know. <laughs> All right.